So the next character will be my personal favorite moving character, which is Ruben Key's Evil Ken. So he was first released in 2001. Right off the back, he has a classic jump back fireball zoning attack to where depending on which punch you input, he has a variable fireball speed, which makes the fireball an amazing zoning tool. Extremely impressive state of the art AI for a fighting game CPU at the time. And even at this time, in the all throughout movements run, a lot of times the AIs that were considered good or difficult were more on the cheaper boss characters. But back in 2001, his AI was so extremely impressive when it comes to his strategies, his zoning like I mentioned earlier, as well as the combo ability of the AI. Really, you just have to play it yourself to see what I'm talking about. So he has multi-hit combos and super combinations. And he also retains the infamous meta super specials. He has an abundant toolkit beyond the standard Shoto Fireball, Tatsu, and Dragon Punch variations. Many more creative special moves and supers. That really differentiates this character from other Ken or Ryu clones. He has two different Tatsus, he has a dive kick, explosive fireball, and a regular fireball. He has double and reverse dragon punch follow-ups, two different idle stances, and an idle stance change up when the player is idle. You really didn't see this quality of life stuff until later greedy fighting games. Audibly he sounds crazed and violent. This was the first popularized depiction of an evil Ken variant long before the first release of the official Violet Ken in the SVC Chaos. The speed aspect of Violet Ken is eerily reminiscent of this version of Evil Ken, and take that as what you will. He has a complex physics parameter allowing you to fit moves and techniques in tight windows such as a forward dash into a heavy Tatsu or a Tiger Knees Air Heavy Tatsu. Overall, you can just feel how well the physics and momentum have been programmed into the character. I'll equate it to the brilliance of Smash Brothers Melee characters when it comes to the brilliance of the physics engine actually bolstering the playability and the sandboxness of the characters. More importantly, he's just fun to play. Highly comboable, fast, powerful, but doesn't feel cheap. And it's of my personal opinion that his meta supers are perhaps the coolest out of the evil duo.